Uh, just really, just really proud of the bounce back. The last time I was in here two days ago, I was ready to flip this table over, and um, our team responded in in a couple ways. The rebounding differential is exactly what I hope it will be every game. Uh, I thought we we had a really great effort on the glass. I mean, if you look, Anna has six offensive rebounds. Peyton has four. Carol has five. I mean, that's three people with multiple offensive rebounds. Very, very impressive um, intent and execution on, on the glass. Um, and it, I, I was just really glad um, we were able to do that for Amira. I thought, like, the chances of her getting a concussion right now and having her on her ankle right now, it's just really unfortunate for them because they don't get to, to live through senior night. So the only other thing I thought was pretty cool, and, Kurt, you can snicker at this, but, like, I thought, I thought Steph Odekirk, played outstanding. I thought Jamia Hazel played outstanding. I thought Peyton McDaniel and Anna Goodman all played outstanding. And it's like eerie to me because it actually is their senior night. Um, and I know they're all, they're all planning on coming back, but it just, it just touched me a little bit because, um, you know, this is their fourth last home game. And so um, I thought Jamia and Steph especially took them out of the starting lineup and they, they both responded with, with really, really good um, play. So uh, it's what you want in a response. To talk about that response, you know, especially Steph, not in the starting line. I mean, Jimmy too, but I imagine that mm -hmm. had a little bit to do with senior night. And to see them play well, to see Anna, you know, kind of bounce back from, you know, a frustrating last three quarters, sure. last, last time out. Like, just, I guess, to see the response from those, that group that you mentioned. Yeah. I thought, uh, I mean, really, I, I grabbed Jamia right in the locker room, and I was like, look, I don't know what, who's going to tell you you didn't play well, you took four shots. I mean, you got five points, four rebounds, one assist, no turnovers, and you're plus 20. That is, that is, that is huge value, huge value. And in a perfect world, no, I don't want Jamia just taking four shots, right? Um, but even Steph, 11-7. On a day where we needed Steph to make threes, right, with that with the, the triangle until he was throwing at us, so um, that speaks to their. You know, we we talked with I talked with those four Anna, Peyton, Jimmy, and Steph about the home stretch here, and we need leadership for this, right? We're going on the road for four games. It's going to be really hard, and after that, you go in the conference tournament. You need leadership, and and those those four they go to captain circle for a reason, and so so they have to be the example. Right, Jamia has to be the example for whoever else uh, gets pulled out of the starting lineup. Right, what did Jamia do? Man, Jamia came back. She was plus twenty. Didn't bat an eye. What does Steph do? Right, she was eleven. And, you know, so it's they got to be the example for that, and that's part of their leadership role. But I was so pleased with 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 what they did today, and they were, you know, that first group was a little bit um, shook with with the the defense that Costa was playing. And and they came in, didn't skip a beat. Liv, Jamia, and Steph came in and gave us really good, um, really good offensive possessions, uh, followed by followed by stops too. So uh, just really proud of those two and their and their example. And as much as you emphasize, you know, one game at a time, like throughout the season, you know, you also admit that they'll look at the standings and stuff, and and you know that with a home loss, you kind of went into that danger zone of mm -hmm. having to play an extra game in Pensacola. Like, do you feel like that? plays any role in like responding or are they paying attention to that at all right now well i mean it's a good question and i'll be very honest that's who i am like we pulled up the standings in, in our in our film um between games and we said look like you're flirting with this thing man this is not if you need motivation because because it's february right and a lot of teams they get tired of this they get tired of me and practice and all that stuff but it was like look look at this like, look at this. And last year, you know, we did um, we did a little different motivation where we were giving them single game trophies, right? And that was like part of our that's how we got them going. But I think this team's mature enough to understand. Like, a Georgia State loss really hurt us, and it, it, it we're teetering a little bit. You got to go on the road four games. That is not easy. That is not easy. And we're gonna have to find a way to 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 get them all done. Yes. But um, the standings were, were talked about as a group just because I think they need, they need to know what this means. And they need to know – you know, one of the things I said, I, I was at Evansville for a long time, and we would go to the we, – we weren't great, right? We were like the seven seed or eight seed in the Missouri Valley. And I was young, and so, man, we, we had the eight seed. And I'm like, all right, here we go. We're going to all of a sudden, you know, win three games. And one of my assistant coaches was like, look, man, it's, it's really hard to change who you are 
for a conference tournament, right? If you're the eight seed, you're the eight seed for a reason, right? And so we were, we were, we had all that stuff taken care of last year because we ended up being the one seed. And so it is an easier path, it's not a guaranteed path, but it's an easier path. So they, they need to know that. And who, who's going to carry that? The people that have done it, P, Steph, Anna, Jamia, right? Carol Miller doesn't know, right? How, how that works for us. And, and she's smart enough to figure it out, but um, that was definitely a topic of conversation. Uh, speaking of P, when you look at her stat line tonight, you have 22 points, 13 rebounds, and you mentioned earlier four offensive rebounds. How do you feel her effort and overall play has been rounding into this home or away stretch and then conference sure. tournament run? I mean, she is phenomenal. Um, she she is now fallen into a really good rhythm of of with her confidence. And she's not thinking about anything. She is playing. And it's so fun to watch. And especially today, we're not running – I didn't run – I didn't call seven, eight plays today, right? It's like you guys got to figure this out. Um, she was just phenomenal, man. And <laughs> Coach Pedersen looked at me with a couple minutes to go and said, she, you sure she's coming back for two more years? And I, I pray to God she, she is um, because she is, she is that good. And the way she's playing right now, uh, it's a good time to, to, to have that, the right balance. And pregame with your senior night honorees, we see Heaven, who's in a boot, as well as Susha, who's on a scooter. Is there any updates to their health? Uh, <coughs> sorry, um, no updates as, as right now. They're they're both they're both out today, and we'll see we'll see what it looks like Monday Tuesday. Carol said that she felt kind of after the first quarter, the team kind of got back to who y'all are. What did you see kind of after that first quarter into the rest of the game, and how do you hope that continues into the road and into the tournament? Yeah, I just I thought um, I thought we just needed a breath, right? And and between the first and second quarter, it wasn't like a yell. It wasn't like we got it. It was like okay, this is what it is, right? This is this is the the bed that they've made for us. Okay, how we, how are we gonna do it? Here's what you need to focus on, right? And it was, but the whole team was calm. It was a very like yeah, we understand what we're doing here. Um, and so, I certainly calmed me down, right? The the looks in their eyes, but there was it was a even though we were down. It felt like we were in control in a weird way, other than the first three minutes where we were, we were kind of um, knocked off of our path a little bit. What do you want to see most in the last couple of games in the season and then going into tournament play? I just want to see fight. I just want to see us compete. And I think every time we've come with the right fight, uh, we, we've we've you know, part of that fight, right, is the glass, and that's that's effort. Um, but it's got it. We got we got to fight. Um, and we got we got to be really really hungry, and that's you know the last year at this time we had that big road swing at Texas State at Old Dominion, and we were hungry enough to find a way to get those two going, and it that's the reason we were the one seed, right? Um, so it's going to be really challenging, but we got it we got to ball our fist up here and fight. With it being senior night, can you talk a little bit about your seniors and their time playing at JMU? Yeah, it's uh it's it's different, right? Because. It's not it's not the the years where everybody's played here forever, right? Carol's played here seven months, eight months, um, and I, I'm glad. I think she's uh, she's really helped us a lot. She's she's mature. She understands the game. Uh, she's been she's been outstanding defensively. Uh, I remember the the Montana State. She blocked the kid. It, it's basically a game saving block, um, but been a good teammate. Been positive. Uses her knowledge to help us. Um, Heaven Bristow, obviously, I mean, you look back at this, what a rocky year. And I, I feel really bad for her. She didn't get to – well, she, it's her fault she didn't play her four years, okay. But um, but she, she didn't get, like, the full – right? Now she's got an ankle, which, again, hopefully we can get her ready for Thursday. But it's, like, one of those tough ones. Um, but just what an electric player, right? And so – we got a ways to go. That's what I did when I hugged all, all three of them. I was like, look, we're not done here. This is a very early senior night. Um, and then Amira, I, I thought um, Amira has been one of the better teammates you can imagine. Her year, right, uh, she comes out, she gets hurt preseason, could never find her way back into the rotation, and is like a, a wonderful teammate every day, plays hard every day, doesn't have an attitude, um, just, a, just an absolute, um, almost a dream of, of what you would hope for with somebody in that position, who's going through, obviously, a sacrifice, right? Senior, wants to play, and I'm not playing her, and she could be a jerk. She's, she's, she's the furthest thing from it. So I got a lot of respect for, for Amira, but all, but all three of them in, in how they decide to operate this year.
John, the way this first quarter started off defensively, you come out in a 2-3 zone, didn't stay with it, but so long. So tell us what you did there. And they came out with a, a diamond and two. Um, and on what you what you did to kind of get them out of that. Yeah, different, right? Um, well, I had this big game plan. We're going to stay zone. That's what we're going to do. Uh, it, I was like, I don't like this at all. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's hard to tell, right? It's hard to tell exactly what – exactly how they're going to attack it, what it looks like, what our bounce is. And in a weird way, I felt our kids were itching to, to guard them man-to-man. -man. So once we switched, it was like, yeah, fine. All right, don't screw this up for me, Coach O. This is how we want to play. Um, the the triangle and two or whatever you want to call it, uh, it just it just took us a sec, right? It's like, wait, who? And Chloe's like, I'm open, so she, she's looking to score. But I thought the even even like that group didn't do great at first. When we subbed, I thought they were really good and, po and kind of popped them out of it. But the group that started came back, and I still thought they were good after that. I just think it's a natural, wait, wait what are we supposed to do against this? And we hadn't practiced. They had shown that at, at, not at all. Um, so it was, it was a challenge for us. And it, I worried a little bit in the first two minutes. Like, hmm. Um, you know, I was writing down stuff in my car. What are we going to run against this? But, you know, I thought we figured it out and we really settled in. But I thought we were just really confident all game and so um it was it was it's funny you know you walk into this thing with a game plan and we bail on the 2-3 zone and he threw 18 different things at us but um the, the players deserve the, the credit today right it wasn't it wasn't me calling this play and calling that play they they played um and they were they were really good today Coach, you've spoken extensively about the maturity of this squad throughout the season. You have that massive bounce back win at Marshall earlier this year, really showing progression, growth, and understanding of what it is to look at a different system. Today, you get a triangle and two, another different mm -hmm. look. How do you feel that this maturity is going to help them going into this Sun Belt tournament? Well, you hope, right, that whatever you throw at us doesn't phase us. And that's what seniors, fifth year seniors, you, you hope they have with them. Just in the sense of like, all right, what what are you going to throw at us? And there's there's no panic with it, right? I think the tournament, um, yeah, I'll never forget. Um, what it what I guess I do forget her last name, William and Mary, Debbie Taylor, Debbie Taylor. Um, see, I remembered. We went up my first year. We went up. We had Tamara Young and Don Evans, and first round game, and obviously Kenny's coaching, and they boxing one Don Evans, and Tamara was like twenty one and eleven, and we were so thrown off, we couldn't run anything, but like. It's, t it's tournaments, so you're a little bit tighter, but the maturity came through, and we were able to win. I think it was 55-44. Kurt's going to have to check me on that one. But that's what I hope from this team is, like, somebody's going to throw something at you because I do think we have talent and we have um, somebody like Peyton McDaniel, right, Susha Kozlova, right, you get it? So it's like they're going to throw something, post-double, uh, something. And so I think the maturity will help us stay calm through that and solve that as a as a as a team more than more than even a staff sometimes. And earlier, I asked your players a little bit about Steph Odekirk. Her day was seven assists, eleven points. She's one of the biggest connecting pieces of this roster and a real glue woman. Can you speak to how her positional versatility at the forward spot, that spacing as well as playmaking, is just so invaluable to your squad? Yeah, she she exactly right. And you know, I think she's had to really um, change herself from a high school score to what do you need me to do and you know passing the ball has been a has been a huge thing for her um really really solid press break really solid with running our sets being in the right place uh, it's, it's so valuable and and i try to remind her how valuable it is you know i think it's hard i think naturally basketball players want to score baskets right but she's she's been she's been huge for us um it's, I mean, especially this year has been huge for us in helping us run. So, so glue, person, woman, whatever you want to call it, I totally agree. She's been, she's been awesome for us.